Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So today we are going to talk about a bug. A bug which took down Swiggy Instamart, which is the quick commerce arm of Swiggy to deliver you your Coke in 15 minutes. And the service was down across India for almost 20 minutes. We will get to the bug. First, let's try to understand the problem that they were trying to solve. So they have this database called the Picker Master database. Uh, which stored data about all the pickers and their orders that they have completed. Um, they did not mention which particular database they were using. Um, so I, I, I could not put that information here. And when I say picker, I mean the delivery executives carrying your order from store to your doorstep. Now they wanted to create performance metrics and see the details of the jobs uh, by a picker in the last 30 days. So this is the problem they were trying to solve and they wanted to create a query uh, which would uh, query the database for this information and then show it to the like the concerned user. So this is the query that they use to get the data that they wanted. Uh, what they're doing is they're selecting from the master DB, which is the picker picker master DB. Um, and they're querying on the pick timestamp and the picker identifier. So pick timestamp meaning that when the order was picked up and picker identifier means that who was picking that order. Now they have created a composite index on these two columns because well, um, if you know a bit about databases, when you are doing um, some query and you have some columns in the where clause, you better have an index on them. Else the database would do a full scan or go over all the rows of your database to find the rows that you want, which is something that we don't want. So they created a composite index with pick timestamp first and then the picker identifier. So both of these columns will come together to create this one index, right? And this is uh, what we call a composite index. Now they ran the benchmarks on this query. Um, they selected some stores in some cities to run as, it as a pilot and then they released it into the production. Now, before releasing into the production, they had something called a feature flag enabled. So what, it, what does this do? Um, this lets the developers to stop or disable this feature if something goes wrong. So this is kind of a stopgap measure or a emergency guardrail measure that we use in software engineering to make sure our features don't go rogue, right? So they had a feature flag enabled for this uh, feature also um, to control it in the production if anything go went wrong, right? Now, after the release date, the code is in production, they start seeing lags in a Kafka topic. Now, if you don't know what Kafka is for this context, think about it like a large queue where some process is putting jobs and some other process taking those jobs uh, of the queue and executing it and processing it right and this kafka queue here was used to assign uh, pickers their orders and they started seeing some lags in this kafka topic why was it happening now this Kafka topic or, or this queue was also depending upon the same database where our querying, uh, a query was running, the picker database. And they saw that this database is actually slowing down. Now they now started suspecting it might have to do something with the new query or the new feature that they put in. But we'll try to see what uh, actually happened as we move along this video. When they checked the database, they saw that it is overwhelmed and the pickers could not be assigned their orders. They now know that the issue is due to the new query introduced and I'll come to the exact issue in some time. But hey, they had a feature flag, right? They could use to turn off this feature, right? Well, it turns out the UI side and the backend for the feature flag were not properly integrated and the feature flag didn't work in production. So what was happening is that the pickers actually had to log out and log back in their app to make that feature flag work. And now that was unacceptable. Now at this time they had no choice but to shut down Swiggy Instamart across India because due to the database being overwhelmed, no picker was getting assigned their orders, right? And you will see this, the CPU utilization was off the charts and the read apps also off the charts, right? Now, we will try to see what was actually the issue and uh, how can they resolve this bug. The bug was in the order of the composite index. You see, they put the 
column with the range query this inequality or the range query before the column with the equality now what was happening the database was scanning a lot of rows in the database to determine if they wanted if the database want to use the index or it does not want to use the index and sometimes it was not even using the index for this reason it determined that it it is better off without the index and that's why intermittently the index was not even being used and the query was doing full scan which i mentioned is something we really really don't want this actually choked the database uh, because just because of this uh, order of the indexes that they put they put range query before the equality column so what they should have done this very simple thing that they should have put picker identifier before pick timestamp and that would have let the database know that they need to use the index every time with because of this simple thing um seemingly simple thing not actually very simple to catch uh the devil as they say always lies in the details they had to have a downtime in swiggy and stomart for 20 minutes now to resolve this they quickly reverted their build and everything was back to operational state um after as i said 20 minutes now you might think from all this that hey this is uh, so simple it seems so simple um why couldn't swiggy engineers uh, get get it first they are smart people yes they are actually very smart people but you see in the chaos of software engineering in real life things like these go through the holes um these are not very easy to catch in real life um so that's why we should be careful when um designing these things and they learned it the hard way and we can take their learnings and learn it the easy way all right um uh, they end the video with some key learnings they mentioned here firstly they say that they should use um, olap databases instead of this transactional dbs now they haven't mentioned what database they were using but uh, assume from this statements that it must have been some transactional database um like maybe like mysql or postgres or whatever um so they say that this is analytical use cases and for these they should use some olap database maybe let's say like clickhouse or something like that uh you will see in my last video when i talked about zerodha's postgres use case they also had olap use cases on postgres but they handled differently and they had widely different use case so you will see use cases wise designs change and uh, nothing is word of god in software engineering um just because one company says something and does something in some way it is not uh, it, it might not be perfect for some other company doing similar things but not the same thing right okay the second thing is a very important one is that use explain statements or explain analyze statements to know whether the index would be actually be used by the query in production this is very important and this can save a lot of work if you just see the query plan to know how a query will work right and at the end they say about the feature flag that it should be properly integrated across uh, the ui and the backend else well chaos might break out if some of your feature might not work and some day some of your feature will not work and that time you will need feature flags right okay so i think that's all i had for this video leave a like on this video and share it among your friends or whoever you want to share it with so that i can reach more people you see i have a very low subscriber count help me to increase it and if you want more videos like this on computer engineering do subscribe to the channel and till next time bye